we were aware of the fact that uh, there was anti-Semitism in Germany. We just didn't know what Nazism was. Remember, this is from the perspective of two years before Kristallnacht. Uh, the Holocaust was not only not a thought, it didn't exist in our imagination, in our dreams. I was on the team. It was a goal I had sought. Holocaust was a word that I didn't even know in 1936. The 400-meter relay was selected beforehand. Sam Stoller would start. I was to run the second leg. Foy Draper run the third leg, and Frank Wyckoff run the anchor leg. The morning of the day we were supposed to run in the trial heats, we were called into a meeting, the seven sprinters were, along with Dean Cromwell, the assistant head track coach, and Lawson Robertson, the head track coach. And Robertson announced to the seven of us that he'd heard very strong rumors that the Germans were saving their best sprinters, hiding them to upset the American team in the 400-meter relay. And consequently, Sam and I would have been replaced by Jesse Owens and Ralph Metcalf. We were shocked. Uh, Sam was completely stunned. He didn't say a word in the meeting. Watching the final, all sorts of emotions flashed through my being. Frustration, certainly. Anger, certainly. I look out on the track and I see Metcalf passing runners down the backstretch. He ran the second leg. And that should be me out there. That should be me. That's, that's me out there. Anti-Semitism was the basic reason, I believe, that Sam and I didn't get to run the Olympic Games. Here were the great black athletes who couldn't be kept off the winning podium. They were marvelous. But here were two rather obscure Jewish American athletes who could be kept from the winning podium so as not to further embarrass Adolf Hitler. But uh, what happened to me was as nothing compared to that which took place later on. There was just no comparison. I was there, and uh, that mattered. What took place was much, much more important afterwards.